Hello, my name is Alicia Hashem, and welcome to my weekly um, journey with you. This is what I like to call Marvelous Monday. It's just a, a opportunity to jumpstart the week ahead and just really create more of the fabulous things that you want to experience and just inspire you, uplift you. So thank you so much for tuning in with me and dropping in. And today I want to help you create your soul purpose manifesto. And you know, the world that we live in, there's a lot of pressure from society to be a certain way or do certain things. There's a lot of chaos in our world. And sometimes we can forget what, what is my soul here to do? What makes my soul sing? What's guiding me to be here in this, in this life and on this journey? Like, why did I show up? And what are my unique talents or what, are, what is my unique energy that I bring to the table? And, you know, you might ask yourself, why would we do this? Why, do, why does it matter? And really, there's a couple reasons why. Like one of them is like your vibe attracts your tribe. So the more that you show up every day from your best and feeling good, it's automatically going to attract people into your life who also resonate with those similar things and it just really helps to build more fulfilling relationships um, and just create an opportunity where you can be surrounded by more of those people who really resonate with your soul's essence and so the way that you're feeling and, and what you're focusing on and how you feel about your energy like if you're feeling lousy there's a lot of body language behind that or if you feel insecure or unsure or whatever's coming up that's going to reflect through in your energy. So we create a soul manifesto or an energy signature card so that every day you can be reminded as to what is your unique energy and just really stay grounded and rooted in that. And so the other reason for creating it is just to remember your true dreams and those deeper dreams. Like when you were a kid, you probably had these, you know, soul dreams for yourself. And then as we become adults, sometimes, you know, that gets put on the back burner, we forget, you know, and so we want to draw up that essence to help you just live a more fulfilling life and reconnect with some of those deeper dreams and aspirations that you have. So if you, let's get started. We're gonna go on a little journey. So please grab a piece of paper to write with and a pen. And if you're using those essential oils, go ahead and grab some of those right now. So I would recommend um, probably like a mint or an orange oil. I'm gonna use a little bit of spearmint right now. And the mint and the orange oil is just gonna uplift your mood and just kind of help you let go of care, worry, stress, if there's any tension or negativity that you're holding on to on physical or mental or emotional levels. It's just going to kind of help refocus and reset. And it's such a wonderful way to just get your day started. So just rub a drop of that oil in the palm of your hand and just take a deep breath. Draw a deep breath in and fill up your lungs all the way. And then as you exhale, ah, just let out an ah and relax. And draw in another deep breath. Breathing in, up, fill up your lungs and exhale. Relax. Okay, let's do that again. Breathe in all the way into your belly. And as you exhale, just go ah. Tilt your head back a little and just smile. And for a moment, I'm just, I just want you to go on a little journey with me. And right now we want to connect to your, your natural gifts and talents and your unique genius. So I want you to think back to your childhood and just remember some of the things that you used to do as a kid. What did you create? What was the first time that you pursued some kind of leadership activity or adventure. Maybe it was a performance, maybe you sold lemonade for the first time. Well, what did you feel inspired to do? Maybe you drew, 
So just think about when you were a kid and what were some of your natural gifts and talents. Maybe you liked sports. Maybe you liked to have that physical activity. And just, just think about those accomplishments. Maybe you were a singer or a dancer. What was it? And don't judge it either, even if, even if you, know, you didn't pursue it, just, just remember that, okay? And so now bring that with you and think about this present moment right now. What do you feel is your unique gift? Are you a good listener? Do you, you know, are you there for your friends? Do you do things for other people? Or maybe it's your smile and um, your, your laugh. What is, what is your unique talent? What do you have this natural just gift at that comes naturally? And if you're not really sure what your natural gift are um, or natural gift is, um, think about like when you get compliments on the most, like what do people compliment you? you on and what comes just naturally and sometimes we don't even think about it just because it's so ingrained in us so just take a moment to reflect on what you do and how you show up and how you provide value in people's life in this present moment okay and now bring that with you and let's look at your future self and think about what gifts and talents would you like to develop or work on? What would you really see yourself in the future like to actualize on? Like maybe you have a lifelong dream of, you know, sharing your writing or um, doing some kind of community service pr project. What, what would you like to see yourself actualize in the future? Perhaps it's a career path that you're working on and something that you're working hard to develop. Okay. And so now I just want you to take another deep breath and just draw all that past, present, and future self into this moment. Just breathe it in. Breathe in all that golden light of your gifts and talents. And so as you're thinking about what are my natural assets, you know, what are the positive things about myself? And if nothing else, just to build your own confidence, right? It's important to know, like a lot of times we know what we're not good at. Well, what are you good at? What, what are your assets as a person? So as you're thinking about that, I want to ask you um, a few questions and you may wanna write these questions down. I will also be sure to add them into the chat for your reference. Um, and so what I wanna help you do is create a manifesto statement. And so this soul manifesto is um, just something that you can kind of lean into. What, are, what do you do? What are you about? Um, you know, it's, it can be great in conversations when you're meeting people to really have a manifesto or if it's just for your own personal vision board. And what I recommend is creating a statement and, you know, creating a cute document about it so that every day you can just be reminded of what you're doing and not get sidetracked and not get caught up in the drama or the traumas of life, but just really stay connected to that soul purpose and what's driving you and what's fueling you and motivating you. Okay, so the first question is, what is the world I want to create? What is the world that you want to create? More peace, laughter, more abundant living. What do you wanna see in the world? What do you, what do you wanna create? Okay, so the next question is, what is the work or play that I want to do to help create that world? So if there's something you want to create in your life, what is the work or play that you want to do to help create that world? How are you going to show up? How are you going to show up with people? What kind of things are you going to do to create your magical world? Okay, so the next question, who do I want my work to speak to? So this is really crucial as far as if you're doing something of service, who are you showing up for? 
Who do you want to connect with? Who are you kind of calling in? Maybe it's other artists. Maybe it's other wellness people, like-minded people, friends. Maybe it's certain communities who really need help. Who do I want my work to speak to? Okay, next question. What matters to me right here, right now? What is the most important thing to you? What do you just, it fuels you. What, what do you need to have right here, right now? What, what do you want to focus on? Okay. And so now that I've asked you those three or those five questions, what is the world I want to create? What is the work or play that I want to do? Who do I want my work to speak to? And what matters to me right here, right now? Then I have three kind of little statements that you can fill in to help you take it a bit farther. So I believe, dot, 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 fill in the blank. So I believe, so your belief is your core value. What are your core values? What's super important to you? Okay, the next statement to fill in is I desire dot dot dot. Okay, I desire what do you want? What do you want to be? What do you want to see in the world? Okay, and so then the third one is I own dot dot dot. And what that means is what's your truth? What is what is super um, just that you know to be true, deep within your soul. And so I hope you have fun and I hope that those questions kind of stimulate and guide you. And so I'm going to just kind of offer a little bit more juicy nuggets to kind of help with this journey. And so um, really, you know, what kind of got me thinking about these questions is is asking myself, how can I be of service today? How can I show up in the world and make a difference and do something positive and also like uplift myself and others to create more of a positive world because I feel that this is super important. So why am I here? Why are you here? I believe that we're all here to be of service and to open our hearts up to something. So that's why I'm here creating this. I want to know why are you here? What are you doing? What are you up to? And let's really manifest these things and manifest our magic world. So why are you here? What kind of service are you opening up your heart to? And um, just remember that you've been given special gifts and talents that are special and they're unique to you. So what do you get the most compliments on? Um, what is just uniquely you? Okay, so it could be anything from the way you show up for people. It could be your unique laugh, smile. Just write down, and when you're going through this process, like stream of consciousness, okay? I know it's like really hard to think about some of these things, but just write down the first thing that comes to mind, one sentence. And as you go along, you'll build it and develop it more. Um, and so, you know, I want to invite you to just create a simple statement and basically it's just going to be like, I am blank. So your name, I am Alicia Hashem. Um, I'm, my gift is blank. So what is your gift? So my gift is to connect deeply in this magical moment here with you. And then the next thing you would say is, I'm here to fill in the blank. So what are you here to do? Um, right now, I'm here to uplift others and soothe your heart and your soul and with this authentic creation and, and really connecting with our authenticity. So I'm here to help cause a little shift in consciousness in you for this magical Monday. Um, please let me help you shift your consciousness and let's invoke more laughter into our lives and more love and blessings and bliss by just calling in these really deep soul gifts and just having fun and just showing up to play and to flex every day. 
Um, so I want, I'm excited to explore this process with you. And this whole thing is basically, this is what I would call energy work. So we're going to clean up our energy a bunch so that we really clear up what we're focusing on because the bottom line is our brain is going to give us whatever you focus on. Some people call it the law of attraction, but really it's just the way our brain is wired. There's this part in our brain called the reticular activating system. And that's what filters out information. There's so much information and, and stimuli coming in that our brain has to filter out what's important to us. And the way that it does that is, or one of the ways that it does that is what we focus on. And so whatever you're putting that focus on, your brain is gonna go, okay, that's important. Let me call that in. And so this can work for you and against you because sometimes you'll be focusing on like, oh, life's rough, this sucks, this is hard, I can't do this, I'm no good at this, like whatever, you know, there can be negative focuses. And then your brain's going to go, okay, cool, yeah, you can't do that. And it's going to help draw in information to you that filters that focus. And so we create this energy signature and we do this energy work first so that your brain focuses more on your marvelous, magical self. <laughs> so I want to open this up to everyone participating. Um, please comment in the chat. I'll be sure to post up the questions as well as I'm going to share one of my inner, uh, energy signature cards with you. And hopefully you'll share yours with me and just stimulate some of this conversation. And if you have something that you want to share that's not related to this topic, I love to hear it. So let's start the conversation and just get to know each other a little bit more. Thank you so much for tuning in with me today. Much love. Mwah. Aloha. <laughs> so now I would love to invite you to share what's coming up for you. And thank you so much for tuning in live with me, Jay. Um, let me just bring you through here. How's it going? Oh, pretty good. Um, so far, it's been challenging lately. You know, it's been on a slope lately. You know, just, I was doing the e-card, like you sent me, like an example. Then, like, I was just, like, other stuff, I was just gotten away. But it, is, it was just challenging, that's all. The, but, creating the e-card was challenging? Is Well, in a way, it was, because everything else was interfering, but, like, so, like, when I was starting it, it was, I put some stuff into words, like my neat gifts and talents and all that, but you will compliment me about, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Was, was it a little bit of a challenge to, like, like recall what your unique... Yeah, it took me a few days just to, like, just my, not more just think about it, just, like, get it in my head over and over. It's just like, huh. Yeah, like, what is... What am I good at? What do yeah. I like, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, what I, I can relate to that. I went through the same thing in my process when I started creating this. So I think it's just because maybe no one's really asked us that in a long time. I mean, I don't know about you, but like when I was in elementary school and you're like a little kid, like figuring it out and no one was ever like, what is your unique talent? What are you good at? They were like, here's all the possible professions for you. Put a check mark next to what you want to be when you grow up. And I remember looking at that list and I was like, none of these fit into what I didn't know what I wanted to be. But I was like, I don't, none of these things really sound good to me. Maybe a ballerina. I don't, but I don't even see that on the list, you know? And, right. and, and so it's just, I got the same thing at my elementary school. Oh, man. It was a long yeah. time ago. <laughs> and I think that's the society that we live in. And it's just what we're inheriting. So um, it may not be easy to create the uh, manifesto at first, you know, because there's all this unburying that we have to do. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ain't that the truth? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was gonna, I took some notes when I originally got this information. Let me see if I can find them. And uh, 
it was so helpful to do this. And I'll tell you that I didn't do it overnight. I did not um, figure out my energy signature in a few days, even it was, it, and even to this day, I feel like with so many of the goals or things that I want to do, it's like, I figure it out bit by bit. <laughs> And now that I've been, you know, pursuing the path of being a health and a business coach for like 12 years, I have a better idea of this stuff. So I just, it's hard, but don't give up and, you know, and also just try to enjoy and relax with the process and just play with it. It doesn't have to be perfect right now because I guarantee you in a few years, you know, it'll become more defined. True, right. That makes sense. Got gotcha. yeah. Yeah, I want to show. Um, for the video's sake, I want to show this document, and I think I shared this with you, Jay. So this will just be review because for those of you tuning in, Jay is a little bit ahead of everybody else with his assignments because he has been he showed up to our last call. Yeah. So the e-card, which we're asking you to create, is your frequency and it's your vibration. And um, it's what causes a reaction in others. And, you know, when people see you, they read your energy in like seconds, you know, it happens within seconds. So if you're feeling crappy, you don't even have to say anything. People are going to feel it or if you're frustrated, you know? And so, um, and at the bottom of, or at the end of the day, that's not who you are. You're not this frustration or this stress or whatever is like happening in your life. That's just like usually other people's stuff, right? So it's help, it's helpful to have, to get anchored into this. And so, yeah, with your greatest gift or talent, just keep it real simple. Like what is your God given gift? Um, maybe it's your heart or your That's vision, <laughs> you know, like your visionary self. Maybe it's inspiring. Maybe it's your smile. Perhaps it's your knowledge base. Like what just like comes so naturally. I get that a lot. The smile thing. Yeah. You have a great smile. So yeah, that mm -hmm. goes on the God given talent. Because, yeah. the, and that's a, that is a gift because when you smile, it makes other people smile. Like it's hard. Like if you were smiling, I, it's hard for me to not smile too, you know? So yeah. like one of the having a bad day, you smile at them, it changes their day, right? It's contagious. One of the people. Yeah. And I've also read studies about the nervous system that when you're in a stress response or a fear or if negativity is coming up for you, if you smile, even if you don't feel happy, it tells your nervous system that everything is okay. Because this is a reaction that happens when you're having joy and bliss. And so if you smile about something, especially something that might cause you pain, it creates a shift in the way that your body is responding to that. So, so yeah, your God-given gift. And then the next area that you'll want to focus is what is your unique genius? Um, so what is a unique talent that you have? Um, what are you good at naturally, but you've also worked a bit harder to develop? Um, and so this could be, you know, like, for example, one of my areas of genius was working with natural medicine. This was like unique that I got involved in at a very young age at the age of 16. And then I've worked to develop that over the years and I've studied a lot. Um, and I know you a little bit. So like yoga would be like one of your areas of genius because it's like yeah. you've naturally gravitated towards that. And then you've also like worked to develop it by working with teachers and like listening to podcasts and doing some personal development. So yeah, your area of genius is usually an area that just comes naturally. Like, and plant it medicine could, too, right now. Yeah, plant medicine. It could be because, you know, video games, like something that you're just like, you've worked a bit, like you, you've naturally been drawn to it, but then you've also 
increase your skill. And so that's your area of genius. And so then what a talent is, is like, that's your expertise. Um, and so that your talent is like your, um, let's see, you've worked hard to develop your talent. Sorry, I'm looking at my notes. I've got like so many different pages out just to try to help me stay focused. So, um, I'm just so yeah, it's yeah. like, what have you worked hard to develop? Like for me, that was coaching. I, you know, got into plant medicine and then I got job opportunities as a coach. And for me, that was really scary at first to kind of be work as a guide for others. But over the years, as I developed it, it's become what I do and, and my, my expertise. Um, it could also just be like a positive state of mind that you've cultivated. Like what have you worked really hard to develop? aside the challenges in life and you've really applied yourself to become very good at it, you know? Um, so one of the things like, and I, I like to even break that down. Like what I do is I change people's reality when they work with me and I've worked hard to develop that. I put in a lot of like training and, and skill and education and practice to be able to do that for other people. So that would be kind of like what you would consider a talent. Maybe for you, that is actually yoga or the gaming, you know, something that you've worked really hard to develop. And so, you know, part of what got me into these exercises is working in the field of network marketing. Um, I'm just gonna stop sharing for a second before I share that other part. And I believe that network marketing really helps people bring your greatest gifts forward so that you can be of service to others. And it's really beautiful. And then you can get paid for doing that work too. So, um, you know, it's, even if you're not in network marketing, it's still so valuable to just focus on bringing your gifts to this world and your talents and giving from the heart in the way that is authentic to your soul, not in the way everyone else is doing or the way they think that you should, but just really from that space of opening up your heart to this life and really showing up to play and, and to give back to others. Um, and so with that being said, I'll just show you an example really quick of my, um, Oh yeah. So I ask you, so just make a list, you know, just start a list. What are your greatest assets? What are your gifts and talents? Um, and let's play and post about it in the comments, write about it. What is, what are your gifts and talents and genius? Um, and I want to help to, I want to know this because I want to help bring out the best in you and I want to get to know you, the real you, and I want us to help find solutions to really start to create this magical world. So here's an example of one of my e-cards. Um, and I recommend just getting a picture. This isn't necessarily something like I'm sharing it with you here now, which is a little vulnerable for me and you're welcome to like borrow from it. But I recommend creating one for yourself too. And it's just kind of something you want to keep on hand. <laughs> view it in the morning before you go about your day so that you really set your vibe on the right level so mine is i'm alicia hashem here to make you smile okay let's explore the ways that we can heal ourselves and our planet naturally with awareness and unconditional love so this statement here to make you smile this is just my uh gift that's just a natural gift that i have i like cause a reaction in people so then my, this is my area of genius. Let's explore the ways that we can heal ourselves and our planet naturally with awareness and unconditional love. And then this is my talent. This is what I've worked hard to create. Together we have the power to organize ourselves so we can take actions that influence positive change and make good things happen. So that's just one of my e-cards. I wanted to share that with you so you have an example. And, um, and then I also um, went ahead and just kind of created a little vision board that reminds me of my unique energy and um, just different things that I do in my day, like modeling, community service projects, time in nature, 
chocolate drinks with rock cacao, like doing murals with my partner. Um, these are things that I feel are like kind of my natural grab. Like these are things I've naturally gravitated to. And it's really helped me to create more of the life that I want to live. And I want to help you do that too, because you deserve it. And if I can do it with all the crazy traumas and dramas that I've dealt with in my life, I know that anyone can do it, but it just starts with baby steps. So I just want to invite you to just take one baby step today to creating your soul manifesto, share it with me, really connecting with that true essence of what is calling your soul and why you're here. Mm. Gotcha. Oh, that's good. Now I'm smiling. Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, e-card. <laughs> oh, man. Mm, that's that's going to be fun to do today. Mm. Awesome. Well, I'm so excited to see what you create. So please be sure to share it with me. You can do it privately or, you, you know, if you feel like you get to a point that you create something you like and you share it publicly, be sure to tag me in it. Um, so that I can honor you and just be here to help you connect with that true essence of yourself. Mm, that's good. Yeah, I got some ideas today. Yeah, you know? that's good. Great. Well, I'm going to stop the recording. So thank you for tuning in. And I'm so excited to learn more about what you want to create in this world. Cool. <laughs>